What is up YouTube? My name is Marco. You probably don't know me, but I arrived in Colombia. Still a little bit tired as you can see, although I slept like eight hours like a baby. I don't know what's happening, but I'm here with some friends. Good morning. How up? And we have a pretty chill day planned. One of the guys' is birthday, so let's see what we can do and uh, I'm gonna take you along the way as always. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let's start into the vlog. Schönen Morgen, schönen Morgen. Good morning! As you can see, we are walking on the beach right now to find a spot to work out. Haven't done a workout in a while and we want to keep the gains as always, so we have to find a little spot. But the hostel owner told us there is a spot in another hostel, so perfect. We got water, we got everything, we got good vibes, we got for good friends. So let's hit a quick session. Found the workout spot, it's pretty fucking small, but we got a dip bar, pull up bar, we can do some rows for the holes and uh, yeah, we'll do the best and uh, have a good uh, edit. Enjoy! Honestly, better than expected. Got a little pump, took some uh, nice footage, and now we're gonna enjoy the rest of uh, Luca's birthday. We play some beach volleyball, drink some beers, play some games. Amigos, it's actually three days in the future right now. I came back to Santa Marta and just went to the gym, had a big, big leg session in an awesome gym. And I want to show you my Airbnb. It's absolutely amazing. It's Alto Vento, it's like a big complex of uh, apartments. It's uh, with a security guard downstairs, so we are pretty safe and I um, just want to show you the place. Actually, my apartment is on the ninth floor. It's pretty big for one person, but I thought like I need seven days for myself just to edit some stuff, get into the mood again, cook for myself, good food, gym routine. I needed that, like I was tired of seeing new places every day. Look, everything is like pretty, pretty modern. Ah, everything's pretty wide. I think there's like a lot of apartments like this, like mine, a lot of Airbnbs and stuff. And like the people look quite rich. Um, so yeah, I'm apartment. 907, uh, let's go in. So let's get started with the tour. We start with the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty big, we got a big stove. I got some leftover rice, 
We have a lot of pots, plates, everything, cups. Another thing, even if we have a microwave, which is good, like because I prep all my meals uh, on midday and then I have like dinner and uh, lunch ready. Um, yeah, big sink. We got a fridge. It's pretty big as well. I'm thinking of buying like um, ice tubes for a cold ice bath for the pool upstairs, which I'm gonna show you after the apartment tour. Uh, I have a big fridge. Just bought some eggs, cheese, apples, some greens, orange juice, milk. Look, there's my dinner already prepared and everything. We got a big washing machine as well. The view is amazing. I love it. The only bad part is that it's pretty windy in Santa Marta, so um, at night like it can get pretty pretty loud because the windows are really really bad and like this is the only bad thing of the apartment I'd say. We have a big TV, like a small sofa and a big couch. Here actually is my workstation. I just edit here, I've got my protein, bought some sauces, some spice, lifting straps, yeah, so pretty cool. Then we go to the big, big, big uh, bedroom, big bed. Got an AC as well, I let it run like the whole day because it's like the only one in the apartment. So it's 17 degrees, but it's still pretty fucking hot. Another workspace which I actually don't use. Let me check the view. Yes, it's basically the same. And then you can walk into the closet. Pretty big and look, like my backpack is too small. I, I thought of unpacking, but like why? I've been living since four months out of the suitcase, so should be fine. And what's up? The big, big bathroom. Amazing as well. There's the shower which I'm gonna test in a second. Toilet, sink, so pretty much everything. But the most special part about this apartment is that you have access to the rooftop pools. And you wanna see the rooftop pools, right? So let me change and I'll meet you upstairs. So we arrived at the top. I actually have to explain before because the only bad thing is that it's too windy and the mic will not pick it up. So we've got one really, really big pool, which is amazing. I went there this morning just to wake up and two like not hot tubs, but like small tubs with like uh, pressure from the water. What with like, with like guns for water pressure. I don't know how you call it to be honest. And right now it's like the perfect time to go for one last dip at this day. Um, I just went to a workout and what better way to end the day with a little dip in the pool and uh, the whirlpool watching the sunset. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated what's happening the next days and I'm gonna hop on the pool right now. to end the day right so beautiful I don't know what I'm gonna do the next six more days I'm staying here but I have my social media hustle like I really want to grind into it and I appreciate every support we're gonna hit 300 subscribers oh fuck no my my towel dropped into the fucking pool I'm so dumb we're gonna hit 300 subscribers pretty soon so please make sure to hit the subscribe button I'm really proud um, I want to keep growing I think each and every one of you and I'm trying my best to put the best content out I know sometimes like it seems so easy to edit and everything but one video takes me like 12 hours and I put like everything I have into it and you have to look into new music and stuff but I don't want to complain I love this shit so that's why I'm doing it and thank you so much for the support Hola, it's a couple days in the future right now and I decided to finally cut my hair. I was debating over it if I get a bus cut or something sleek back, I don't know, but I'll take you to the barber today. First time going to the barber in Colombia because 
I mean, no, this is not great. So I need to look fresh for a carnival in uh, Colombia. So, vamos. Alemania, euro, or dollar, extended. Euro, euro. Euro. Sí, sí. Oh my God, guys, this taxi motor was like insane, man. He drove like over pathways, through red lights. I thought I'm gonna die, so that's why I couldn't film. Ah, it was insane. But we arrived at the barbershop and hopefully get a nice cut now. Gracias, amigo. Muy bien. What's up, bro? And we are back from the barber. What a nice experience, guys. He like cut my hair for one hour and it was not a uh, cringe to film at all because they were doing TikToks. Everybody was so friendly and I paid 40,000, which is like eight years or something. So pretty cheap as well. But you are never 100% satisfied with your hair. Like, the boys know the struggle. If you don't have the barber from back home, what can you do? But like, he did a good job. I like my size to be a little bit lower. I tried to tell him, but like, honestly, who cares, guys? Who cares, guys? We have new hair, new look. I have to get used to it because before I was this like curl head and now I'm, I look normal again. But taxi bag was such a struggle again. Like honestly, I don't feel safe using these motor taxis because I don't know if they like rip me off or drive me somewhere and then I get robbed because they drive sometimes in the opposite direction of what I told them. Like it's crazy. I don't know if they just started their job yesterday, but they drive like maniacs over pathways. Okay, so that's, I guess that's normal over red lights. When they come to a crossroad, they just, they don't stop, they just honk and hope that no one's coming. But that's not the baddest thing. Like the baddest thing is like, I'm so scared of being ripped off because, or robbed because they drive like, the, the way is like five minutes and they drive 20 minutes. Like it's crazy. And I always have to tell them through Google Maps, I have to like direct them where to go. Ah, it's, it's crazy. And that was it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch until here, one basita for you. I'm having my pre-workout meal right now. I'm heading to the gym, but I'm gonna end the video here. The plan for the upcoming month, one and a half month is I'm going to the carnival next, then to Medellin and Bogota. I'll have a little stop in a small city between Medellin and Bogota and then I'm flying to Mexico City. So stay tuned for future content. If you want to see more of the gym, please let me know in the comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.